how artificial versus organic is she? How artificial versus natural is she? Does she cake on the makeup? Of course, not only if she cakes on the makeup and you don't necessarily know what she looks like without makeup on, that it can be a surprise to you because you're given one image and not the other, but also when you have that makeup on over and over and over again, do you really think that's good for your skin? Do you think that's going to age as well as a woman that has to wear a small amount of makeup or very little makeup? So if a girl is caking on the makeup now, um, just know that that wall is going to hit quicker than the girl that's that very rarely wears the makeup. I mean, look at this, like, right? She looks pretty good here, although that's just, I'm not into that lipstick, but look how much makeup that is, guys. That is so much makeup. And uh, the girls, um, when I'm with a girl or something and the girls that are looking good, they know, like, uh, before we end up going to sleep or something, she's like, you know, hey, she like waits as long as possible. She goes, I gotta go take off my makeup because she knows what it'll do to her skin. And and so again, the makeup, if she leaves that on, if, she's, if it's on constantly, that's gonna age her quicker than non-makeup. Uh, another factor of this, does she dye her hair often? Another thing, when you mess with that, when you mess with natural, don't expect that there won't be consequences. And if the girl is dyeing her hair always, she's gotta always have her hair dyed. Uh, that's not going to age as well. If you see if you see older women that are balding, <laughs> uh, she's probably one of those women that was messing with her hair a lot. Um, and not only that too, but if she loves to dye her hair, it's just a matter of time before her her uh, monthly subscription to Feminist Magazine, you know, shows her that new pink spiky hair, small short hair haircut that she wants to try out. <laughs> So she'll be super excited to give you that spiky hair, uh, spiky pink hair look and cut it all short for you. Uh, and so that's a little, that's another factor to, to be cautious of. And then another one too, again, just thinking, does she spend a lot of time spray tanning? Um, does she just put a lot of products on herself, on her face? Uh, you know, the more she you know, does stuff like, does she go tanning a ton? Just go go to a bunch of tanning beds. It's going to age the skin a little bit as well. Give her some of those, you know, beautiful wrinkles. Um, so again, the more natural, the better she will age. The more artificial, the quicker that wall will smash. I just need a little more time. A great, great wall. You're It cannot be stopped. The wall cannot be stopped. And we got meme time here. All right, Chrissy Teigen. In my opinion, she's a pedophile. And I think we'll hear about that come out shortly. But uh, her and John Legend. Anyway, though, look at her. Oh, I had a better picture of her, too, uh, before when she was like in a bathing suit, too, and after. But... You know, just a different tier. Um, you can see that she hit that wall a little bit there. Uh, it's just never going to look as good in her attitude. I don't know if you guys saw that video I did with her and John Legend, and they took like the polygraph test together. I did that a whole video breakdown on them. Her attitude, man, is just like uh, if she doesn't look like the you know the supermodel, the bikini model that she once was, and she keeps that attitude up. Good luck. Uh, and then this one, I don't know if I'm even saying this word right. It was Linda, Linda Evangelista, Jalasta, Jalista. Apparently she was some big model before. I didn't really know who she was, but this was on the wall. But I mean, look at this difference, man. Like I'm, t there was probably a lot of sticky tissues that, uh, you know, this, this lady here on the left, um, she probably created many, many sticky tissues across uh, the world from young men, but look at this. Look what she turned into. Yikes. This is the same as that. Again, that's why personality is so important because 
That is not like, can I get a return on that? <laughs> like this isn't Costco where you can get, you can get like a, a box of grapes. And if you see a couple went bad, you can return it for a full refund and get a new box of grapes. It's not Costco when you commit guys, when you commit, you cannot return this. This is what you're left with. And then here's the last one uh, that I have for this one. Factor number four, Nicole Kidman. And again, there's a lot I could put my conspiracy goggles on with this one. <laughs> but as far as from here to there, as far as uh, staying in shape, great. Although she wore the feminist bathing suit. Oh, I'm grossed out by this. But again, guys, this is why a lot of Hollywood women wear this feminist bathing suit. What you see, it covers up that V taper. It covers up the, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The ab, uh, whatever. The V that men have. <laughs> it's a rabbit hole that a lot of you guys maybe don't want to go down, but um, even <laughs> regardless, we'll just we'll just play along that she's a naturally an, uh, was born a woman and has always been a woman, and we'll just say that she just doesn't look nearly as good, even though she stayed in shape. I'll give her that, but again, she's not what she once was. What else is she bringing to the table? Don't forget, subscribe, like comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.